I'm prepping for the market. Come see, baby. Prepping for the market next week. Um, so I'm just laying out these stands and wondering what to do with the space. It's quite big and I've put washi tape around just to measure out how much I have. It's quite large. I have all these Welsh prints. This is Din Bicha Pascod, which is Tembi. Um, we also have Cardiff, which is Cardiff, the capital of Wales. This was a bestseller in the Etsy market. Um, another one, Cardiff. I love the colours of this one. And I have a new one, Hiraith. And a little meaning down there on the map of Wales. Um, and I really love this one. It says, you're simply the zest. I'm also doing greeting cards in this as well. I also translated most of my cards. We have Pembroid Hapis, which means happy birthday. Um, Kartrev Nawaz, which means new home. Dielchen Vau, which means thanks so much. Hariad, which means love. Um, this is my best seller, 30 flirty and thriving. Oh, the sun catches glowing. There it is. A very gloomy day. Uh, Pembroid Hapis again. I really love this one. Pembroid Hapis. Pembroid Hapis. And I thought I would bring this one just in case I have new, anyone's like off to uni or college um, or moving away. I really like this one. So that will look like that. Um, I'm not sure where to put the period ones yet because they are landscape and not portrait. Um, but yeah, I think that works. I've also got the English versions here and here, Paris, London and New York, along with Castle Koch and Cardiff Castle. So that is it so far. Off to the garage. It is a mess in here, it's full of spiders, but this is the shelf my dad made for me. So I gave him the plans and he just put it all together. So now I'm painting it. I've had this lying around in the garage because I used it last year for something in the studio. I wanted a darker pink, like more like my brand, but considering I have this free, just lying around, I'm gonna use this. Why? You have to move. Please go away. So that's the second coat done on the front. Now I gotta do the back. So the stand is complete. I've just taken a picture of everything so that I can pack everything down and just recreate everything on the market on Sunday. <laughs> I wish you were coming. Um, I just redesigned these uh, daisy earring packaging because I found them really hard to display as they were. So I just made this new backing card using my Cricut and I can place them in these little cubes and they look really good. So I'm happy with everything. The pins are gonna go in this basket, just like this. I'm gonna need to redo some of the backing cards because they got wet at the last market. 
But as far as the display is concerned, I think it's done. The window stickers up here with the um, rainbow stickers. Um, yeah, price list, QR code. Oh, I haven't got my business, face my business cards. I can just put them on the side or somewhere. I've just been making a small batch of belly bands for these desk pads and I think they look so much better than how they do in a cello bag. Um, I'm thinking of doing this just for the market, but if it goes well and people like the new packaging, I might keep it like this. Plus it saves me from using plastic. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like the belly band? Would you prefer yours wrapped in cello bag, biodegradable? Um, or do you like the way this looks? Let me know. So, um, I've designed a new sweater. I haven't showed you guys on the vlogs. Um, I've been working with my Patreons on it. I'm also restocking the uh, Fry's t-shirt and the pumpkin sweater ready for autumn, but I've just had a delivery of sweaters. I've chosen a different color. Um, so let's open them and see how they look. Okay, so t-shirts for the fries. I've just chosen a large this time because that is the most popular size and I like to wear oversized things and I think a lot of people do. I'm just trying to stick to a budget really because it's uh, very expensive to buy so much stock. So these are for the pumpkins. I just need to get them embroidered. They're so soft. And the new colour for the new design, which I haven't showed you yet, is this beautiful sage green. So this is a 2XL. I'm going to have them in large, extra large and 2XL as well. But um, the colour is so nice. I'm so excited. <laughs> vlog it is friday today and it's been a week like i ran out of ink i ran out of sallow bags i ran out of labels i ran out of so much stuff this week so i'm so so behind on orders and on top of that is the royal mail strikes so when i've ordered my stock in um it's not going to come in time anyway so i'm super 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 stressed about work um however we are leaving tonight to go to London to watch the Foo Fighters um, Taylor Hawkins tribute tomorrow in Wembley. I'm so excited. My boyfriend's a huge fan, so it's going to be a good night. However, after, straight after the, um, the gig, we are driving home. And then I have a market on Sunday um, in St. David's Cardiff. So like a really, really nice upmarket market. So I'm going to be so tired. I'm looking forward to the market. Although work this week has just been mental, like preparing for the market, trying to stay on top of orders, everything else going on, the strikes, the delays, the postage has just been very stressful. I think I'm all packed up. Um, you've seen my stand. Everything's in a box currently downstairs waiting to be packed. I need to drop mochi off my parents. Um, yeah, and I'm ready to, to go. So yeah, let's go. My stock fits in here. The earrings, window cat, window catchers, window stickers, pins, notebooks, to-do list, business cards, measuring tape, you never know. Um, sum up. Up is charging along with a power bank. Um, 
not taking tote bags because I only have one tote bag left. I have ordered more. I've run out of everything as well. So I only have, oh, I don't have them, but um, I only have four London pins left. Like this morning, I was looking for my London pins to take with me. And I went into my pin cupboard and I was like, where's all the London pins? And I realized they've all sold. So now I'm in contact with, um, I kind of want to use a different pin company to last time. Um, that's the chair, by the way. <laughs> um, I want to use a different pin company to last time, although then they'll have to make the mold again, which costs another like $50. Um, but we'll see. I want to get the London pins back in stock because clearly they were the best seller. Although I thought I sold more of the New York ones. Um, I don't know. But yeah, I should stop talking. I need to drop mochi off my parents, come back, pack the car and then leave. Do you want to go out? Here are all my stands. Um, oh, I'm sorry, baby, you're not coming. Um, it doesn't look like much, actually. Uh, I think everything will fit in my little car. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just getting ready to go. And my car just feels really empty compared to usual. Like, that's all I have. And usually I have like loads um, and my stand is bigger than usual. I hope I haven't forgot anything. <laughs> I made a huge mistake and ordered the wrong ink and because of the royal mail strikes and the delays and the bank holiday even amazon prime is taking two days delivery i need to wait till wednesday till i can even print anything and it's monday currently so i'm just heading to my friend kaylee's house um from kaylee more designs with a whole load of paper and a list of things i need printed um and hoping to print everything because these are all outstanding orders. I'm running behind and I'm panicking. Into the post uh, just before the strikes kick in again, getting things sent as quickly as possible, but the strikes have meant that everything is delayed, including like ink and things like that. So yeah, let's go to the post. Good morning, it is Tuesday today. I am back in the studio after a 
very busy, very stressful a few days. The weekend was lush. We seen Foo Fighters, the Taylor Hawkins tribute in Wembley and that was amazing. I didn't actually film as much as I thought I would. I thought I'd have my camera out loads, but um, I just took a few snips, snippets. And then we arrived home. So we went to London on the Saturday, no, on the Friday. And we arrived home Saturday night after the concert at 2 a.m. And then the scrap man's going past. Um, yeah, we arrived home at 2 a.m. on Sunday morning and then had to travel to Cardiff to do the curated makers market that day. And yeah, so I didn't get much sleep. The day was amazing though, it was lush. It was so nice to see people in person again and do a market and it was nice and busy. It was in like the center of St. David's. So that was really fun. I wish I filmed more. Um, I've been having a panic since about work. Um, the postal strikes have really, really, really delayed me and I thought that I was on top of things and I ordered all my stock in early and made sure things were sent out early and it still affected me. Um, so all my things are delayed. My stock now that I'm ordering in is delayed. I ordered the wrong ink and then I ordered it again on Amazon. Even Amazon Prime is delayed. And there's been days where I haven't been able to do anything because I haven't got the materials here. So I'm very, quite stressed at the moment. I got a few orders out this morning. I didn't get a chance to film yesterday because I was so, so busy trying to get everything done. And because I didn't have any ink, well, I, I'm missing one ink cartridge in my printer, the Canon, but I need to print in black and white, but it won't print in black and white, even though it's missing magenta. Um, yeah, and to be honest, the printer, I think there's better ones out there. Like I splashed out on that printer and it was recommended by so many people. I prefer my Epson, my Epson, I preferred my Epson, um, but sadly it's died to death. But I think I would probably get another Epson in future because my Canon just drinks ink like no tomorrow and it uses eight different ink cartridges. So like eight different colors. So yeah, so my friend Kaylee from Kaylee More Designs helped me out yesterday massively. I took all my files over to her house, printed everything using her Epson printer. And then I was able to come back last night and get a whole load of orders done. I'm still, so most of them have gone out. I'm still behind on about five or six. And it gives me anxiety because if I'm behind, if my pro if my materials are behind, that means I'm behind. That means I can't ship things out until later. And there's more strikes this week. So it's Tuesday today and the strikes are on Thursday and Friday. And my inks not arrive until tomorrow, Wednesday. So yeah, I'm just praying that people will be understanding because I tried my best to be prepared and ahead of time and ahead of schedule, but it still had a knock on effect. So I'm about to record a podcast for my Patreons. It's gonna be all about um, the curated makers market, some market tips, things I learned, things I would do differently next time, and about my thoughts on using Affinity Designer. I've always, always loved the program. I still think the program is great. But I'm not sure if it's causing issues with my Mac. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have a chat with my Patreons about it and see where to go. So I haven't used Adobe in years. I haven't used Adobe since I was a student. And then I left uni, got my first job as a full-time designer and they all use Affinity. And I've used Affinity ever since because it was just so user intuitive and user friendly and the interface was just amazing. I haven't missed anything from Illustrator at all, but I think the program is doing something to my Mac. I don't know. I haven't got solid facts or evidence, but I'm worried the program Affinity is like killing my Mac and my old laptop because it's just taken up so much space, so much disk space and storage, but it's not supposed to. It's supposed to be smaller than the Adobe programs. So yeah, I'm gonna have a chat with my Patreons um, and I will see you in a bit. So my Mac just crashed five times while trying to record that podcast. I had nothing open apart from GarageBand, which I used to record the podcast. 
and I crashed five times. Um, I have nothing on you, like, to for it to run so badly. And it's only, I think I bought it in 2019. So maybe three, maybe four years old at a push. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> Resume finally. Is it light magenta? Yes, yes. Oh, photo magenta. That's the yeah. Let's put it in. September means sweater weather, although this is really, really creased because it's been left in my wardrobe for like the best part of a year, but it's okay. We're not going anywhere fancy today. It's been a weird few weeks in terms of business, like everything has been really hard due to the Royal Mail strikes. I've been, I was so like ahead of schedule and then all of a sudden behind because I was waiting for stock to arrive and they just so many delays um but due to things that have happened the queen passed away yesterday um the royal mail strikes have been postponed now today which means i'm going to the post um so things can continue but things are still behind this morning i'm so tired i was awake at 5 a.m this morning because i heard mochi being sick so i was cleaning up the floors at 5 a.m this morning and then I had an email from Curated Makers who hosted the market that I did on the weekend and they want me to be part of their pop-up this Christmas in John Lewis. And on the one hand, I'm really scared and worried because it is quite expensive. The commission is a lot for um, a small business like me. But on the other hand, I'm like, 
let's go for it. Like, what a great challenge. And they are also offering um, paid shifts to work there. So I could be in person selling my things and other people's things and talking and schmoozing and getting paid to do that. So yeah, I'm worried that it might be a lot for me to take on because I've also applied for like three or four other markets which are scattered across different weekends. Um, there's the Etsy market, the Newport market, another Christmas market, another one, I think four, as well as this pop-up shop in John Lewis, which lasts, I think like 12 weeks. And that means I'm gonna have to make sure things are regularly topped up and stock is replenished often. I'm not sure how much stock I'm going to need, but with the postal delays going on lately, I'm thinking I should order things sooner rather than later. But then what if I order too much stuff and I'm just stuck with loads of stock again? And also, do I take more Christmas things? I don't really have Christmas things. My things are more like giftable, like gifts. I find it quite hard to design for Christmas. I don't have many Christmas cards. Um, yeah, it's just a lot. And then I was thinking of, if I did do the shifts, when would I work there? Could I do evenings? Would I burn myself out? Would I be doing too much with the work in my job anyway, the markets? I have to get my parents to look after Mochi. Um, yeah, so on the one hand, I'm very worried and a bit like, is this too much? On the other hand, I'm like, oh my God, let's go. This is so exciting. Um, yeah, so now I'm off to the post and I'm going to collect some t-shirts that have been embroidered. Why does it have to be raining? Complete! Now let's go get some t-shirts. T-shirts collected. They look so cute! Go get home to see what much she's been up to. Well oh guys, it's about time I renewed on tablet i got this cute pretty pink one i think it was about 50 pound maybe even less than that actually because this and also i find that it's slowing down my mac quite a lot and mac is so slow most of the time it's more or less unusable and i've cleaned it out sort of the storage i've updated it i've done everything i can i think affinity might be playing a part mochi hey I think Affinity might be playing a part in slowing it down, but also I've noticed my Wacom pen also slows it down sometimes. And it's just really old. It's like, it's probably about eight years old now and it's fraying. Yeah, so I bought a new MacBook Pro laptop because I think that's just more powerful than my iMac. Um, I haven't made the transition yet because I'm also transitioning from Affinity to Illustrator and from my iMac to a new MacBook. And I thought I'd get this so then I didn't have to use the USB because there's no USB port. So I've got some adapters. Yeah, there's just some changes being made in um, to the way I work. Um, but yeah, this is really cute and I'm excited to set it up. I'll set it up later all on my laptop. Um, yeah, and hopefully it's nice. It's Bluetooth as well, so there's no wires. And it should work exactly the same as the one I have now. So I'll keep that one as a backup. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. I also have a replacement drum for my foil printer because this one seemed to have kicked in. This is the replacement drum unit. Um, basically, it's just for the ink or toner to go in um, because my printer says that it's reached the end of its life with the drum. It's very dramatic uh, with the drum. Um, so, yeah, I think I just turn it on and replace it. I had to do this last year, but also I use this printer not only for foiling, but also for invoices. And the fact that I'm using it for invoices is like killing it quicker than what it would have. So I'm hoping to get my sister's old printer just to use for invoices. Um, I'll have three printers in the office. Yeah, so let's replace the drum. It says drum end soon, but I've noticed like there's been flex in the foil, so I would rather replace this sooner rather than later because the foil just hasn't been what I want. So, actually, let's check. Let's check how to do this online because I think it says that I need to 
like make adjustments and stuff. Okay, so it seems straightforward enough. Take out the toner. Goodbye, old drum. Hello, new drum. A couple times. I don't really know what this does. In. Dusty from time to time. And that should be that. Um, I might try and foil something because yesterday all my foil started to go a bit like flecky. Um, I couldn't tell when I printed it because the black was perfect. But then when I foiled it, the foil like wasn't sticking 100% correctly. So let's try and foil something. So I'm not 100% happy with the quality of the foil after replacing the drum. I didn't get a genuine drum unit because I bought um, a different unit last year and it worked perfectly, um, but only lasted 11 months. So I did couldn't buy the same one because it wasn't available. So I just bought another branded drum unit. And I seem to be having the same problem. Like the foil just isn't catching the edges, which means I've, have to, I've had to print extras to accommodate people's orders so that they get um, perfect foil. And instead of this annoying me for the next year, I've just ordered a genuine drum unit, which costs almost just as much as the printer itself. But I thought if it works, then it's worth it. At the time of filming this, I have one more pair left of the lilac earrings. And then I'm out of the rainbow earrings. I'm gonna have to order more, but I'm really excited because I wanna order in the other colors that went first. So like the rainbow colours, the teal colour, the blue colour, they all went straight away in a large letter box. Also, I've got a few more t-shirts made today of the No Lies, Just Fries design. This one's an outstanding order, so this one will go up today. And then I have three left of these t-shirts. I made this new packaging as well for the, um, the market. I think it just looks a lot better when it's on display. I'm gonna chuck some extra freebies in with this order because it has been a bit delayed because I had to get the t-shirt made and then the earrings that were initially ordered were the pink ones and I ran out of them. It's really hard to keep up with stock on Shopify and Etsy and not on the high street. So, I don't even think it's UK actually, it might be. Overseas. That and that. No, thank you card. So I'm gonna pop in an extra autumn sticker set. Um, two meet me at my half place stickers. Small business sticker. Good vibe sticker. I love that one. Trick or treat. We'll pop in this overthinker sticker. Purple. Make it in place. These cards, there's a lot of them that just didn't foil properly, so let's get a nice one. Oh, it feels good to get outstanding orders done because of the strikes and everything going on. I'm going to head to the post again to drop off these two orders. Just because I'm worried about delays and they've already been delayed and now the Royal Mail are actually not on strike today means um, they have a good chance of arriving a bit sooner. <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna go and get it done. Let's set up my new on tablet. I have these USB-C to USB-A adapters because there's no longer any USB-Cs, oh no, USBs on the new Macs. I think I should get scissors. Ooh. It's been so long since I've had a brand new Wacom. Packaging's really fancy. It's so pink. I think you could choose between pistachio green, black or Berry, this is called, although it doesn't really look like a berry. And there's a wired option, but I want to go for wireless. I'm boiling all of a sudden as well. Plug it in. As easy as that. The one thing about this screen, I find it quite dark. Like the colours are really vibrant, but I feel like the brightness needs to be up just a little bit more. It 
feels like paper. You can just hear it. Here we go. It's working. Oh god, it's really slow. I so I don't like using the entire um thing. This is why I like mine quite small because I don't like to be drawing like this. I just like to be using a very small area of the tablet. So I think I need to go to settings and change this. And I believe it's on mapping and I can choose to make this smaller. And by making it smaller, the mouse moves faster. So I'm pretty happy with how easy that was. Um, I'm just going to download Illustrator, I think, and try and do like one order that's um, not urgent to see if I can do it all from this computer and all from Illustrator. So oh, um, the Brother Printer printer drum has arrived and I'm gonna put that in there to see if it makes a difference with the quality of the foil. So um, I'm hoping this fixes everything. Just printed um, some stickers and they are perfect. So it was the drum that was the problem. Thank goodness, now I have to send back another drum um, and I can get on with everything foil. Maintenance, expensive maintenance, but it's working. Good morning. It is Wednesday today. I'm starting to lose track of the days right now. So today's plan, I need to film a video for our Patreon. I'm going to be talking about all my market tips and advice. I've done a lot of markets now and I've started to notice what works well and what doesn't work well. And so I thought I'd put all this information into a video. And I've also made like a little downloadable like checklist to go with the video so that people can print them out and take them take it with them to remind them to do well at markets or to do the best you can i'm also finishing off this month's well last month's patreon boxes i'm a bit delayed this month because of everything that's been going on has been mental and i've also had the first proof the first sample of my new sweater and my patrons have seen this. I am so excited. I love the design. It is quite niche. Um, I don't think it'll apply to everyone, but I think business owners and small business owners will like it. And I'll put a little picture here for you so you can see. So it does need a few tweaks. It's the colors are not um, correct. So I have to go down and choose the exact shades of thread that I want to go in each section. And also the printer paper needs to have the perforations put in because um, you can't actually tell their labels at the moment. But yes, that is the first sample. It will be going on sage green sweaters and they are lush. Um, I'm hoping to have them done by the end of the month. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. So I need to finish this vlog. I need to film another video. I need to edit this vlog. So I'm going to go now and get on with the rest of my day. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my Patreons. You are incredible. I am so grateful for you and all the help that you've given me and support. Thank you so much. And I will see you soon.